Good morning. Happy Monday. First day at home with the big CV. And I was thinking, you know, a lot of you guys, I don't know who's going to join or who's not. And that's okay because maybe you'll watch the recording and you could get some good ideas and maybe you'll even post your ideas down below to support people. But I, um, I stay at home all the time. I work from home unless I'm traveling. Hi, Carol. And um, <clears throat> hi, Alex. And so because I'm home all the time, I'm constant. I, I cook all the time from home. I'm very much um, one of those people that probably does two to three meals a day out of the home. And I'm very good at prepping for long periods of time and prepping for the week. Hi, guys. And so I wanted to share with you some of what we're doing here to get us through the big CV um, for the week. Um, first of all, today was shower day. And so me and the little showered. We saved water and we showered together. Right, Mialita? Mm -hmm. And we did bagels this morning. So thank you, Alex. I think this is really important because how are you going to conserve at home and how do you know what to shop? Say hi. Hi, I have a video. Game. She has a, we found this old video um, player from her big sister who's 18. The battery will die soon. We can't find the charger, but hey, we'll get through that one step at a time. So first of all, my house is a complete and utter disaster. You got to choose your battles, guys. You got to decide, like, are you going to spend your time stressing out about your house being messy? Because you know that if your kids are home for the next three weeks, it's going to get messy again. As long as it's clean and I know where to find everything. But my husband had to go to work early this morning, and so we made a deal that after work today, he's going to get off early and we're going to do a full clean together. So I probably shouldn't be doing this video um, with such a messy house, but but I am. And this little one is almost ready to go on her play date. Yes, we are socializing. However, we are socializing with chosen groups of friends Miel has been in school with for um, you know the past week. And we are all making sure that we're taking our vitamins and we're being really super strong and really super out? smart. You ate, so you can take your vitamins. Let's go check over here first. Let's check out vitamins, what we're doing to stay healthy, to build up our immune systems. So here is my big section of essential oils. I love doTERRA. I am obsessed. I used to sell them. I don't anymore, but I do um, diffuse all day long. We have three diffusers running in the house all through the night. We use, um, you know, on guard, special things. We use lavender to sleep. There are some vitamin C chewables. Here are some other vitamin C options. I am taking an optimal healthy daily vitamin because um, I am about to go into surgery in a couple of weeks and I have to stop um, my supplements three weeks or two weeks before surgery. So we are staying super healthy, building up our immune systems. I'm taking extra iron because I will be intubated and having a four hour long surgery. So I want to be real careful. My room is the messiest. Your room is the messiest. We are also taking, um, what would, uh, this is called elder, elderberry. Hang on, Miala, you're going to have to wait until I'm done filming or I have to put this down. So you're going to have to give it a second, then you can have one. We're taking elderberry. I heard that you really shouldn't take elderberry once you actually get sick, but you should take it um, beforehand to boost your immune system. And we're also taking um, things like On Guard Plus, where you could take clove and cinnamon and all these really important things to boost your immune system now. So we're being super smart and super um, healthy and doing preliminary precautions. So part of that also has to do with diet. And um, you really want to try and stay away from a lot of sugar and alcohol because it does weaken your immune system. But you will find, uh, this is not ours. <laughs> Someone dropped that off and Leva left us the rest, focus. but that was not our, um, it was focus, yes. Come here, you can have a vitamin right now and I'm going to finish. So what have I been doing this morning? I bought a bag of potatoes and here you go. And what I do to get through the week is I boil them a whole bag. Again, for those of you just joining, my house is a mess. Welcome everybody, hi. Um, so what I do is I boil the potatoes and then I shred them. And I um, put them in, and I shred them with this little shredder. And here they are, boiled and drained. And so one of the things that I always do is I put, I make a big batch so that and if the kids- in this bottle, which I found out. Yeah, you can leave the cotton in the bottle. Um, and I'm going to get used to three weeks of 
potential interruptions. But I do, I do hash browns a lot. And so um, I do, I love to make burritos or the kids really just love like beans and eggs and hash browns on the side. And they take a long time to cook, even if they're frozen. But if you have them in the fridge, sorry, that was Bo calling me. I wonder if he wants a turkey sandwich. So, um, <clears throat> so I do those. Um, that is one thing that we do. We have lots of fruit for snacks. We have, you know, the miniature, the little halos, the oranges, apples. I try really oh, hard to cuties. do a green juice every single day. Oh, cuties, mama. Okay, cuties, babe. My goodness. <sighs> um, so what I do with the green juice is um, I will make, because Miel won't really drink the celery juice straight, so I'll make this, I buy a bunch of celery, and I do my celery juices first, and then I add in apple and cucumber for the kids. So not only are we taking supplements and being super healthy that way, but we're also doing it by making green juices and just really supporting our bodies. So every single day, I'm going to do a recipe this week. I think tonight, and this is for Dara, she probably will really want to watch this. I do these tuna patties with artichokes. Um, and rice and some ponzu sauce. Maybe I'll do that tonight and then some steamed broccoli or maybe I'll bake the broccoli. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a recipe, um, like a menu for the week, and I'll come on here and I'll show you guys what I'm cooking because again, I am constantly home cooking. I know how to manage and make things um, last a long time. I'll show you guys my cabinets. I went shopping last night because I got this crazy text that, anyway, I sort of got a little bit crazed. So here's my cupboards i don't know how to, i don't think i can flip it oh yeah i can't here are my cupboards what you can you have to wait boo hang on one second so i have all these um things just in case that i don't normally have this much canned food but this time we did it we have pastas and couscous last night um the other night i made a really good israeli couscous with sun-dried tomatoes and then we have a lot of packaged foods more a little more than normal because of um what's going on we just wanted to have backup and then behind there i have a secret stash and there's a little secret stash back here because my family will eat everything if they see it and so i try yeah. really hard yeah is that true especially dad huh can i have juice some of the juice yeah she wants the elderberry um elixir <clears throat> oh boy now you guys are all going to think i'm really sick because i just did it <clears throat> but one of the things i forgot to tell you guys vitamin a is really good for the lungs. It actually coats the lungs. And CV is a respiratory. Um, God, all of a sudden I'm having a hot flash. You guys, we're gonna talk about hot flashes. Look at me. This is a hot flash when you're 51. Actually, I did just put um, Nox and lotion on my face, so it's probably a little bit worse right now. But, um, but yeah, when you have nobody talks about hot flashes, you guys. It's kind of crazy. Sorry about the jittering. Um, anyhow, so we're going to do, she wants the elderberry. It's really great. It's preventative. I don't think we'll do it if she were to get sick. I do have a pretty strong homeopathy background and we would probably go um, a lot of homeopathy in regards to healing. Oh, there we go. So <clears throat> this week we also, I'm going to bust out my Mahjong set which I'm really excited about. We haven't done that. And we have already busted out a puzzle. And what else are we gonna do? I'm going through paperwork and putting stuff away that I have been wanting to do and haven't been able to do for the longest time. So I'm really super excited to get caught up on stuff. But again, I'm waving at everybody. I work from home. I'm really used to having to make these recipes and have them last. If you guys wouldn't mind, for those of you who just joined, if you have recipes to share, um, anything that you would like to add to support people looking for home-cooked meals and um, trying to make it last, definitely if you haven't gone to the grocery store yet and you're a mama, you're gonna wanna stock up on some dried goods, um, rice and beans. Oh, and I totally forgot. There's still a few of you left on here. This is what we made. Um, Friday, ooh, this hot flash. This is what we made Friday. Um, I did a red chili. This is very New Mexican. I did a red chili. There's beef in there and homemade beans in the Instapot. So I did like three cups of beans and um, 
And I did the red chili, which Bo taught me how to do. I didn't know how to do that because I'm not from New Mexico. And we made that and we do it, we put the beans in first and then you do the red chili, which is really good for the immune system. And the, we add a little bit of cheese and then we also um, roll up some tortillas. You could do gluten-free or not. And we just dip it in there and we have a big old salad with it. And it is so freaking good. So that was one thing we did. If you wanna look up um, how to make New Mexican red chili, it's pretty amazing. And then we can store no, I don't that. Like it chili. Us... I hate chili. Yeah, you don't like chili. Okay. Um, did you hear <laughs> me say hate? Oh, we're trying to work on that word, cray cray. <laughs> um, so what else? So and then that what I'll do with that is I'll put it in the fridge and then we can have it in another couple nights. Um, my friend Sophia taught me a lot about that too. Um, and so then we can have it in another couple days. What else are we doing, Miel? Um, I have no idea. Okay, so that's it. I hope you saw the beginning of this with the potatoes and stuff too because that'll really last you throughout the week if you just wanna fill up and um, make those really quick. I, I make my hash browns with butter, don't judge me, and pepper and some garlic salt. And um, yeah, so let's let's meet back here every day. Probably try and meet back here tonight and see if I can do um, the tuna patties. And comment below if you want, uh, if there's anything else. Let me see somebody else is saying, oh, Judita, hi, babe. Lentils of all kinds. Yes, we have all those in the cupboard. I can't click on see more for some reason. Mama? Me... Oh, yeah, there we go. Can I have Waste vitamin A? Adding right. Yeah, you can have the vitamin A. She's really into it. What I'm doing with my kids is I make sure they eat first. Come over here. And then um, she, we're Mr. just, we're just making her immune system really strong. This and I have a backpack on, just so you know. Just so you know. Can you open your mouth, Serena, do the vitamin A. It's one drop. I found this elixir in Taos, um, and it's a, emul a emulsion, if you want to try and find I that online. But we were told by Dr. Changron, who is um, chief medical advisor for the company I work for, but he's a functional medicine doctor and an MD. And he talks a lot about vitamin A really protecting the lungs. And since CV is a respiratory um, disease, or I'm sorry, not a disease, it's a, it's not really even, it's a flu, what is it? It's a respiratory dysfunction or attacks the respiratory system. Um, then there's that. Also on my Facebook page, um, Cash posted a really cool podcast on having your kids listen to what coronavirus is. I guess in the schools, some of the kids are, you know, saying like a blueberry or a grape has coronavirus and they're kind of freaking each other out. So it was a really cool um, 20 or 30 minute podcast and she really liked it. Also, there's a link going around um, for all these free apps for the next two months, you can get free learning apps. Um, so that your kids can learn at home. My teachers sent my kids home with homework, but we are also doing ABC Mouse online, and that is a really great learning app because she loves it. It's really interactive, and she doesn't even realize that she's kind of learning while she's doing it. And that's the first part. It's like, step away from the floor. It's a virus. Thank you. Yes. Um, I have, oh my gosh, I just got the best ghee. So good. I got this ghee and it tastes really nutty. I love it. Um, yeah, you know what, Judita? That's a good idea. I'm going to use ghee instead of butter. I have used um, a little bit of this for other cooking. Smell that. It smells so good. Do you like it or no? Oh, no. She didn't like it. She's really backing off. All right. Um, ah! Aw, love you, cousin. My cousin Arthur is on here. That makes me really so beyond happy. I have I have two cousins named Arthur, right, Arthur? And um, I'll be in LA soon for my surgery, um, all being well. My doctor did post that um, my surgery is not going to be canceled. And the reason why is because when you go into surgery, number one, they're clean, they're, it's a minimal staff. It's a minimal staff and they um, really take care to be super clean. But post-surgery, you actually kind of go in to your own quarantine because you really can't kind of move or anything. And I will be at my other cousins, Arthur and Anthony's house in Hawthorne, um, where my Auntie Prim and Uncle Mike lived. And they will, I will be there in recovery and my husband will be there. And um, all being well, 
we will we may or may not take the little one with us we're going to kind of see how things roll out but as of right now the surgery is 420 um so we'll see if if anything changes in regards to that um then i'll go with the flow but right now i'm i'm in the mindset that everything is happening we're taking a two-week pause or a three-week pause and we're spending time um in our family, in our family unit, and we have very, very dear friends that we're all watching each other and um, really taking care of one another. And if anything happens in a small community like this, what I really love is we all take care of each other. We could just drop off soup at the doorstep and knock and run away. So, all right, I'll try something else later today. I just wanted to share with you some of my ideas. I, I have a feeling that I may have forgotten something. Um, so hopefully not because I really was thinking about this while I was in the shower. Wait, I want to see what Judita's writing. I don't know why the Seymour. Okay. You are so luck lucky my doc's hospital may be rescheduling surgeries and will set me back. You know what? I am, I, if it happens, it happens. Just 24 years of living with these and really super excited to explant, really super excited to get healthy. And then it's like, really, this is happening, but there are a lot worse people off and I'm just going into this like full speed ahead and if it all goes well then I can go to him and if not then Judita I'll be right with you changing my dates and crying my eyes out <laughs> um but you know we'll see maybe it all maybe these couple weeks will bring us all back to being um I want us all to look at and take these two to three weeks and use them wisely this is a time right now for all of us to look within. We have become complacent. If you look at the way that this world is being run right now, the things we have taken for granted, this is a huge humbling experience. Um, I can't remember who it was. Maybe it was Dara was telling me about a friend who said her daughter has um, immune suppressant situations and this is how they live every single day, constantly spraying, constantly washing, constantly taking care of themselves. And that was intense to really realize that we all have a lot to learn here. And if this means growth and expansion for all of us, then so be it. And another thing, I watched a video the other day on how to wash hands. I mean, I know how to wash hands, but I didn't realize that like, you have to totally scrub your thumbs and then rub all around your hands and then take the soap and go under your nails. Like I saw this girl do it on Instagram and I was like, okay, I hadn't really gone to that depth. I mean, I knew about it and I've used like a, um, and like a, a nail scrubber, you know, every now and again, but not every single time I wash. And I hadn't taught my, my children that. So that was really big for me. I'm learning every single day. I feel like I'm informed and then I just continue to grow and learn with each time. Um, and so Thanks, Judita, and thanks everybody for watching. I hope you're watching the recording and ask any questions. And tonight, let's try this. I'm gonna see what I can do. I've never really done something like this, but um, let's see what I can do in regards to putting some food together. I may not do tuna patties. I may end up doing um, these sushi roll-ups, but we'll see with tuna. I'm not, it's some um, canned tuna. Um, I may end up doing that, but I'm not sure. I have to look at, um, I have to talk to Bo and see what he wants. <laughs> Because you might want the tuna patties. We haven't had them in forever. Um, and Jazzy, those are Jazzy's favorites too. So I'll probably end up doing the tuna patties and with artichokes and stuff in it. And then some steamed rice and broccoli. So, all right. See you guys soon. Thanks for watching.